Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, welcome back to the Call of Duty Championship Australian Qualifier number one, semi-final two. I'm a maniac, joined by my smooth co-caster Naked. We are going to be getting into game number three here of uh, our new uh, our new series here. We've got Mind Freak up against Endzone. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy about the uh, the big upset we saw. Endzone obviously eliminating Avant-Garde from the competition. Yeah, well, obviously, we haven't seen much from Endzone Pretty much probably the only player that everyone really knows there is Nike. Probably not for all the right reasons either, but it's Nike. <laughs> um, it's the class clown pretty much of the community. Um, obviously making their way into here, they've at least got a, a buffer. Even if they do lose this next map, which will be a 3-0 to Mind Freak, if people haven't noticed the serious score. Um, they've got another game against Dodders. So they're not out with it yet, and obviously we've still got three maps to play in this series. Anything can happen. It really can, but as you did say, Mind Freak going into this series where we're picking it up from with a lead of 2 0. We're on with Dens from Mind Freak at the moment. He got the nice kill there on Leeds. He's got the flag in his hand as well. He's going to be jumping up on top of the hotel here. There's a player on the jump up. Nice shots out, and he is going to clean that up. That's going to be Cones being taken out. And if you can see from your kill feed there, it was all Mind Freak just then. He's gone past the spa here and running up the left side of the map uh, towards this rock area. And uh, look, they're looking pretty strong at the start of this game, I must say. It looks like this flag should go in pretty comfortably, and indeed it does. So look at that. One cap in under a minute. You've never, you, In all the series we've seen, we have not seen cohesion like that. Yeah, well, I'm obviously going to be biased to my boys, but it's, it's what they do. They're, they're bread and butter, apparently. But um, they, they, they play well as a team. They've obviously been screwing since I departed early, maybe late November. And um, they've been playing since then. They're probably the only roster that hasn't had changes in that time. So they've, they've had the time. I'm, I would have been surprised if they didn't make it today. So I'm just hoping they don't let up and they just do their best. Yeah, well, credit to you, Naked, but I dare say Dan's was definitely a strong addition to this squad and looks to be shown here. Yeah, I was just about to say, you stole it from me. 8 and 0, he's on this streak. And I, look. I get 8 kills a series normally. <laughs> and we can still win, but. Mate, OBJ, OBJ. One no. minute, 1 minute 40 down, and he still hasn't been taken out yet. And look, he's he's not exactly hiding. He's just going straight out to these guys, making it 9 and 0 right now, and he's going huge at the moment. He's going to try and make run it 10, but he's run out of bullets. This isn't going to stop him. I'm calling it. He's going to get like at least one. I was actually hoping. I mean, it seems obvious he'd pick up the gun, but I just, just hoping you just want to stab someone in the face. Look at this. 10 and 0. Flag in hand. I'll be so impressed if he can make a run with this. He has backup. And just as I say that, Leeds has to shut him down. But credit to Leeds. He picked up the big two-piece. Make that three. He's on a roll at the moment. He's on his three-point streak. Gone set for six. He's going to try and make it four. But he's uh, going to be shut down there. Him and Buzzo, I think, may... No, Buzzo was the one to shut him down there. Uh, over with Cones now from this squad as well. This end zone squad. He's gone three for nine, not too good. And as we were going through all of this, we saw another cap going to uh, the Plantronics Mind Freak squad. So these guys looking very strong. We've got Cone here, stuck in the hotel. He's got some tags put on him from the player coming through. That would have been Shocks. And Shocks and Fighter both picking up kills there. Buzzo also getting on the kill, uh, the kill train as well. He's going to be jumping around wide here. He sees a player just below him, and he got some uh, hit fire out. But Cones was going to shut that down. 4 for 10 at the moment, he's running towards the court. Player right behind him, that's Shocks to uh, give him a bit of a surprise. Dens just got two kills to his name, tries to go for a run, but Spartanium's going to shut that down. But however, 3-0 is your current score on Naked. These guys have just gone for a walk in the park. Yeah, well, oh, they're not going to hold up. They're, they're never going to hold up. They want to they win 10 to nil, really. They want to win five this half and make it end and whatnot. And just, they're, gonna, they're not going to let up, as I said, and I'm always going to, as I said, be biased towards them. But, um... It's just a, it's good to watch. Obviously, it's very different to what we've seen the last few series. We've seen very close ones, but um, I'm not picturing it to be the same here. Yeah, I, I think I'm uh, on board with you there. That uh, Mind Freak looking pretty strong. They've always been quite dominant. In some recent online activity I've seen, they didn't appear to be that strong. But look, they're really bringing it into this competition. I just guess it just shows that where it counts, they really like to uh, take the other team to town. We're on with Leeds at the moment. He's on the top of the uh, hotel, and he's going to be looking down here towards the hotel. Just having a look around to see if uh, there's any opposing players around. There is a couple of players from my 
Mind Freak just outside. He got some tags on one. He does finish up the kill there on Dens. He needs to watch out for the uh, the player of Shocks, who's going to be playing, uh, I don't know, he was playing a little bit of a passive uh, game there, but once he realized that he could make a move, he's just taken full advantage of it. He's gone across the spa roof here, and he's going to be running straight into lobby. It looks like he might be home free here to make it 4-0 for the Mind Freak squad with 30 seconds left. Yeah, as, as I pretty much said in the very first series, we've seen this map played three times, this map in game five. And as I said in the very first one, you want to be going pool, and you've seen every time my guys have run at pool, they're, they're constantly bringing it that way. So for anyone watching the stream, this is what you want to do. You want to watch what they're doing, and you want to mimic that. And I think maybe if that team that played first had watched this and pretty much knew this, they would have came out easily with this map. I totally agree. Look at here, Dens playing the defense. Nice work to take down Knife there, and he's uh he's on his own here. There is a player up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they were some solid shots to uh, get that kill I on Cones there. That. Yeah, that was I, I was really impressed by what I saw there. And they're going to end the half here at four nil. And that was some look. As I've said it before. We've broken record here. It was great work by these guys. And look at the KDs. Twenty for seven to Dens. 13-10, They are when just do you see rocking fighter it. and shock bottom score. Maybe when I'm playing, it doesn't happen. Uh, I <laughs> but um, that's that's pretty much why Denz is in that spot now in, instead of me, really. He's, he's a, a freak. He, he's a freak, and we've added him to three other freaks, and I'm very happy to stand down for, for the boys to get another freak with them. <laughs> Call him the freak squad. Mind freak. ba -boom See what I did there? Now Denz up high freak. here. He's in... <laughs> he's in a uh, he's in a nice spot here. He's just um, chilling up on uh, top of the um, of the hotel here. It's a quite nice positioning here. You can look down towards the bottom of the hotel and also on that left hand side towards where the pool and everything is. So I'm loving his positioning here. And a couple of his teammates are way up front. You've got Fighter and uh, also Shocks. That combination is not what you want on your doorstep. And Fighter and Shocks just obliterate the end zone squad. Go for a run with this flag here. They're on top of the spy. It looks like he's almost home free. Right after he clears out leads there, and as you can see in your mini map, there's going to be one player just below, and he's going to shut him down. That's Nike actually clutching that kill there. That was an important one to shut down. But this, these end zone guys, they uh, they really need to try their best to at least get a point on the board. I'd like to point out what Denz did before. We we saw shots buzzing and fighter pushing into their um, call it the lobby, that room straight ahead, obviously. Yep. And you had Denz cutting off <coughs> almost the rest of the map, basically cutting off the middle and all that. So when their team did bring the flag. As I said, he eventually moved from that spot, but where that guy came from, the stop fighter was from there. So if, if he stayed there that whole time, he had the cut for the team. And that's that's what I was saying. They, they actually have a setup, a proper setup made to pull flags, where he's seen a lot of the teams today just running at each other. And that's that's the difference with what he's seen a 5-0 game compared to 2-1, 3-1, whatever. Couldn't have said it better myself. And I just want to point out, Dens just got a dirty two-piece back there. Unfortunately, he was taking it out. But just check him out. 25 for 9. Off the spawn, we've got to watch this guy. He's probably going to be running into the player that's just up ahead of him. And look, he just makes it look easy. It's he like he's got what he wants. just Yeah, he just... He sees what he wants, he takes it. That's a man right there. Denz knows what he wants. He has the uh, mean tags out there on the player that's um, in the lobby. And he's going to be pushing up around the outside. Spots the player out here out in the open. Almost punishes him for it. Fighter is going to clean up the kill on leads. And look at that. Denz spots the head. And now face no more for Nike as Denz takes it. 27 for 9. No doubt he's going to be dropping the 30 bomb very soon. He's on a three-point streak. He might even push in for the flag there. There is a player on his flank. I thought he was going to get away. But Immortal Knight does eventually shut him down. Work with Fighter now. He does get the one kill, so trades before he dies. Buzzer able to take down leads as well. Buzzo himself, not to be sneezed at, gone 20 for 11 with the three-point streak. He's just overlooking the court now as uh, this, uh, this end zone squad are coming off the spawn. Now, Immortal Knight needs to watch himself. He does have Buzzo just in front of him. I'm not sure if he spotted him. They kind of danced around each other. I dare say Buzzo spotted him just then, but Buzzo was taken out. Nike, on the other hand, takes down Denz here up on top of the lobby. He's going to be pushing in for the flag here, and they are in a good position. However, they need to watch the flank from Fighter, who's coming around the uh, the back here. He does have a nice nade out. Wasn't able to connect with anyone. <laughs> Turns on Leeds, able to take him out while Leeds was distracted uh, by Buzzo. Buzzo unfortunately drops. Fighter still chasing this flag, and it looks like we may see a flag go in if this Enzo squad's lucky. Shut down. That was denied there, but it looks like it will eventually be run through there by Spartanium, which, uh, good for him, finally getting some points on the board before Buzzo comes in and uh, rips him apart with the two piece and follows it up with some more kills off the spawn. Yeah, they're just lighting up the kill feed right now. Den's on 30 to 12. The rest of the team isn't really slacking either, and they just see Mitch here just farming his kills, his little stat whoring it pretty much. 
Well, why not? I mean, when you're going like this, Buzzo, he's on his five-point streak. He's still just looking for these spawn kills. I kind of feel sorry for these end zone guys at the moment. It's interesting... It's interesting to note, now you can't always say this, but it's interesting to note that these end zone guys, they, they eliminated AV. So is this is this an indication of how AV might go up against Mind Freak? Like, it's really interesting to think of it that way because AV have, have always been thought to be Second, kind of kind of first, yeah. Yeah, they're they're in that T three squad. So to be taken down by end zone and end zone seem to be well, it's too old to my freak and they're about to get handed it to him for their third game. So what's scary tomorrow is the seeds. We've obviously got VQ who did really well today against Dodders and only fell short. We've obviously got the, the loser of this game versus Dodders and then you've also got Avant. So Avant and VQ are guaranteed to be in tomorrow and another team will be there. So one of those teams won't make it and depending on how the bracket is, one might not get even close to making it. Scary thoughts. Scary thoughts. Yeah, so, there's um, going to be some nervous people tomorrow at 2 o'clock when that bracket shows up. I think there will be indeed. So uh, that's where the excitement is going to come in. I think there's going to be a lot of excitement. Look, this this series, as as great as it is, look, it's Mind over. Freak, it's over. Mind Freak's got this wrapped up. As you can see, 15 seconds left. It was all Mind Freak credit to Endzone for getting this far. But it's really going to be our next series. It's going to be Dodders versus Endzone. I know Dodders are going to be feeling pretty confident. They get, did get taken out by Trident. So who knows? You might see a bit of a spanner in the works here, and Endzone might bring some game to uh, take on this Dodder squad. But look at this, Mind Freak, it shouldn't be under understated. These guys have just made it through to the Asia Pacific Finals. I'm obviously very happy with that. But yeah, um, It's quite a relaxing tone. Like, 2-0, oh, 3-0, oh, oh, we kind of expected this, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy for them to do that. But in saying that, we're going to see a really, really good game. Now, this is the pressure cooker game. One of these teams is going to lock up their spot. And there's the next one's got, obviously, tomorrow their chance. But you don't want to be in that position. You don't want to be the person that has to win every game to get overseas. You want to be locked up, sleep well tomorrow, have the day off. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little disappointed that we we can't watch uh, VQ versus MF. I think that would be a um, a great series. And also, sorry, I was Trident. I meant to say I was yep, Trident. Sorry. I meant to say Trident versus MF. But I mean, look, we'll just have to wait for the Asia Pacific Finals, right? Yep. To see these two teams uh, battle out. So, guys, we just saw Plantronics Mind Freak make it through as our second qualified team to the Asia Pacific Finals. So you can see there your graphic on screen: Trident AU and Plantronics Mind Freak. Your first two teams in in the world to make it to their regional in the Call of Duty World Championships. If they can get in the top three of that competition, they'll be he heading over to Los Angeles to play for $1 million. This is exciting stuff. Great stuff here in the Call of Duty scene. These two teams have come up huge here in day one of our qualifier. Now, we do have one more spot to give away to this Asia Pacific final. It's going to be either end zone or... Or, uh, daughters. Or, or daughters. So, I mean, look, you guys in the chat, let us know what you think. I have my own opinion, but oh, it's... You, you, you think really daughters after say. them just losing 3-2, but in saying that, we don't know how strong Mind Freak is compared to the other team. That's so right. The other side of the bracket, because we didn't see that. So, if Endzone took down Avant 3-2, and Avant aren't a pushover team, we should be seeing a 3-2 game here, if Endzone aren't completely demoralized from getting 3 0 which we do see happening before. We'll just have to see. So, guys, that was our uh, second semi-final where we saw Plantronics Mind Freak, uh, Mind Freak sweep the floor with Endzone 3-0. So they've made it through our next series, Endzone versus Dodders, our placement match for our third spot in the Asia-Pacific Finals. I'm in Maniac, joined by Naked. Don't you guys go anywhere.
We'll be right back.